Hi, my name is Daniel Blackburn and welcome to another video on soil microbiology. Today we're going to talk about gram staining of soil microbes. So, what is gram staining? Gram staining is a sequential staining of cells that you will allow you to differenti differentiate between two broad types of bacteria, namely gram-positive bacteria and gram-negative bacteria. So, how, how does it work? It works uh, through first uh, staining the cells with crystal violet, then the crystal violet is uh, fixed on the cell, so you have fixed cells, heat fixed cells on a, on, a micro, uh, on a microscope slide. Then those heat fixed cells are staining with crystal violet. The crystal violet is then um, a complex with iodine to uh, make it uh, resistant to being removed from those cells. And you will go into a decolorization, which is normally done with ethanol but also can be done with acetone or there are solutions, commercial solutions uh, that are uh, specialized for removing the crystal violet from uh, gram-negative bacteria. So the gram-negative in this decolorization will lose the stain from the crystal violet, whereas the gram-positive, because of the thick layer of peptidoglycan, will retain that, it will remain colored by the crystal violet. So the next step is a counter stain, which is usually done with safranin. And that safranin is uh, just to color the cells that were uh, able to lose the stain uh, from uh, the, the, the decolorization steps. So I will show you now how it works out. Butaina made a, a demonstration together with Ahmed Arabayai, and uh, I will show you now how it works out. So this is what you expect to see at the end. This is stock photo from, from gram staining where you have the, the, the COSI uh, gram positive bacteria and the bacilli here with as a, as a gram negative bacteria. All right, so here are the videos that Butaina is uh, and Ahmed are preparing this. So these are the, the, the results from our last uh, practical where we streak for pure cultures. And now we are going to transfer those cultures into a clean micro microscope slide. First, uh, we add a drop of water. And uh, over this drop of water, we're going to scratch the plates uh, from the colony that we are isolating. And uh, that scratching the plate will remove some cells and we will be able to now place these cells over the slide. You know, so this is going to be the demonstration now that Botaina is doing. So she will remove now some of the cells from the, the, the agar plate. Yeah, some of these cells from the agar plate. And we'll place it on the slide over the drop of water that you had before. Now, for this method, you want to have quite a lot of cells. Why do you want a lot of cells? It's because you lose quite some of them in the, in the washing of the, of the, uh, the washing steps that you have in between the staining, okay? So this is that you see now, putting the slide over the flame, uh, quickly press, uh, passing from one side to another, that is the process of heat fixing those slides, yeah? Now, let's show you the staining process. The first staining process is with the crystal violet. So, here it is, the crystal violet. The apologies for the rogue um, focus, the autofocus from the camera is going up and down, but anyway, you'll be able to see it. Over the, the fixed cells on the slide, you will place a cup of drops of the crystal violet and you will leave it for several minutes. And after this uh, step, then you will remove, um, sorry, 
after this step, then you will remove the excess of crystal violet with uh, water. This is uh, done very, uh, not very carefully now in this demonstration, but you can do this very delicate if you don't have a lot of cells. In this situation, because we use a huge amount of cells, it doesn't matter too much if we use uh, 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 a lot of water in this washing process. So the next step is iodine. Iodine will uh, uh, complex the crystal violet and make it, uh, that will be harder for the crystal violet to be removed from the cells. And uh, there you go. Place some crystal violet on top of that and leave it for a few minutes. Next step. We are going to remove that crystal violet, the, 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 um, the iodine from this uh, slide. All right, just a quick wash. And you can blot dry with a, a filter paper. Okay. Next step now is that we're going to use the decolorizer. The decolorizer is uh, just an ethanol solution, usually. So, as you do this, if the bacteria is uh, gram negative, all the gram stain, the, the viol uh, crystal violet, will be removed in this step, and uh, the, 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 the cell will become transparent. So the counter stain step is the, with saffronine, which is shown now. A couple of drops of saffronine over where the cells were. Leave it for a few minutes and then we can remove the saffronine, the excess of saffronine, and we can look at it on the microscope. Okay, last step of removing the suffering. All right, and then we are ready to go. Uh, dry it up with, uh, with um, filter paper and let's go for the microscopy. So this is what we are seeing now is the, the, the microscope, uh, the, the focusing process of watching those cells. Uh, it turns out it's a, a gram positive because it's very violet. Uh, but if you just move uh, up and down between different magnifications on the microscope, as you see here, that um, you will be able to focus on these cells and determine that they are, uh, what type of cells are they, the shapes, and also the color will tell you if they are gram positive or gram negative, okay? Let's look a little bit more, another slide here, just the focusing process of these uh, uh, cells that we took from our agar plates. So, this, this the last here is just showing some, some uh, 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 simple staining of uh, some fungi. And while I show this simple staining, the, 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 this fungi under the microscope, um, uh, I will just uh, give you final remarks that to say that, uh, um, that gram staining for bacteria is not so useful uh, uh, for soil science, not very much used to... Uh, uh, because it does not offer too much information. It will not separate you, uh, archaea, for example. There are several strains, um, the mycobacterium, for example, which are uh, undefined. It's very hard to use the gram staining to separate them. And with, within each group of gram positive and gram negative, uh, it's quite a broad group. It doesn't give you too much information from those microbes. And in general, the 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 bacteria, they are, they are uh, in the microscope. It's very hard to identify them or use them uh, anyway. Okay. Thank you very much.